Last month, I did $18,000 in sales on Amazon, which sounds great, but that doesn't include all my costs, like the cost of my product, the cost of all the different Amazon FBA fees, the cost of advertising on Amazon, and a bunch of other costs with Amazon that nobody tells you about. And I wanted to make this video to talk about some of the downsides of Amazon, some of, some of the cons maybe I've never talked about before, I haven't seen anybody else talk about, and some really important things and how you can avoid these cons and how you can become successful on Amazon. Because even though last month was the worst month I've ever had on Amazon, and to be honest, it's, it's kind of embarrassing to admit, I still think Amazon is absolutely an amazing opportunity. In fact, my sales have already started to increase on Amazon, but Amazon FBA is not for everyone. And I wanna talk about the truth about Amazon FBA, including the downsides. And I'm also gonna share with you a breakdown of what happened to my sales last month, like why they dropped so hard, so you can learn from my mistakes, so you can learn how to avoid a lot of the issues that I've ran into. And my goal with this YouTube channel is to be 100% honest, 100% transparent which means that sometimes I'm gonna have a bad month like I did last month. And I think a lot of YouTubers might hide that fact. And I honestly considered it. Like there was a big part of me that did not wanna admit what happened last month. But to me, it's more important to be transparent because I think you can learn from both my successes, like when I do things really well. And overall, I've done over $250,000 of profit on Amazon. But I also think it's important to share my failures because you can learn just as much from my failures, if not more from my failures than my successes. And there's three big cons I want to talk about with Amazon in this video. The, the first one is it's harder than it used to be. Despite what anyone's telling you, it is harder than it used to be. That's just how business works. Like there's a big opportunity a lot of people jump in on it but there is a trick I'm gonna share with you a way to still make Amazon extremely successful extremely profitable the second con is that it is expensive to start like it's a lot more expensive to start with Amazon FBA than it is with maybe affiliate marketing or a lot of other different ways of making money online but here's the truth about Amazon FBA it is a business Amazon FBA is not a get rich quick scheme. You're not gonna become a millionaire overnight. It is the easiest way, in my opinion, to start a real legitimate business in the, the history of the world. And even though it does take some money to start, I'm gonna share a few things with you. One is a trick that you can use that even if you don't have any money, you can actually raise the money via crowdfunding so that you can sell on Amazon. And the second thing I'm gonna share with you is exactly how much it costs to start on Amazon and some ways to lower the amount that it takes to start selling on Amazon. And the third big con I wanna talk about is that I honestly believe that private label is dead or, or at least dying. I think private label, and I'll explain what this is later in this video, that's what most people are doing on Amazon. I'm gonna tell you why I 100% believe it's dead and I think after I explain this to you, you will agree with me, or at least it's dying. I still think that there is an opportunity to make money, maybe with private labeling, but it's drying up, and it's not something I personally would recommend. But before we get into all that, let's talk about my sales from last month, and let me explain to you what went wrong. One big truth about Amazon FBA is, despite what you're seeing on YouTube or Instagram, people aren't actually making as much money as they claim. Most people, when they wanna brag, they talk about their revenue numbers. So for instance, for me, I did $19,000, about $19,000 in revenue last month, which sounds really impressive. And it, it, to some people it is, to some people it, it's not. I have a lot of friends that sell on Amazon that do way more in sales than I do. But the most important thing is that's revenue and not profit. And there's a lot of costs associated with selling on Amazon. One of the big first costs is the cost of the product. Then on top of that, there's the Amazon FBA pick and pack fee. This is the fee to store your product in the Amazon warehouse. And when you get a sale, Amazon picks it and ships it out to the customer. There's a fee for that. There's also a flat 15% fee for selling on Amazon. And obviously, if you watch my channel, you already know all about these things because I share these all the time. But if you're new, subscribe because I'm gonna constantly be sharing everything I do and all the tips and tricks I learn along the way, as well as sharing my mistakes. So there's other fees also associated with like the cost of PPC, there's storage fees on Amazon, there's also things like just random business expenses. One business expense for me is paying my virtual assistants. I also have an LLC fee. And you can see these fees quickly add up. And at the end of this month, and this is the worst month I've ever had on Amazon, I ended up doing a little over $6,000 profit, which I'm still extremely grateful for. That's still absolutely amazing. That's more money than I made in my corporate job. And one of the big things that I wanna talk about here is I made that money last month. I barely worked on Amazon at all. Now, to be fair, I keep most of my profit in my business and I reinvest it back into inventory and, and things like that, but it's still technically profit. And again, I'm not telling you this to brag. Uh, this is kind of 
embarrassing in a lot of ways because I do have a YouTube channel where I talk about this. So to have such low sales numbers is not something I really wanted to share, but overall I've done over $250,000 in profit off of Amazon and Amazon's something I completely believe in. And the reason I like to share these videos is when I did have a corporate job, I wish someone would have told me how amazing of an opportunity this is right now. Amazon is a trillion dollar company. Amazon has over 33 million customers. And as long as there's customers on Amazon buying things, there's an opportunity for you to make money. But there are some big cons I wanna talk about. And one of the first big cons is it's actually relatively expensive to start selling on Amazon. And I'm gonna break down in detail all the different costs it takes to start selling on Amazon, how to actually start selling on Amazon, and a trick that you can use, even if you don't have a lot of money, that will help supplement your startup costs. But one of the first things I wanna talk about before that actually is it's harder to sell on Amazon than it used to be. This is kind of like the gold rush, where in the early days, you could just go down, you know, move to San Francisco, go down to the river and, and pick a big thing of gold up. And Amazon used to be a lot easier. It used to be that you could just pick any random product from Alibaba, slap your brand on it, put it on Amazon, and it would just sell because there were so many customers and not that many products. Now, I do still think that it is an amazing opportunity. I think anyone that doesn't end up selling on Amazon now, three, four, five years from now are gonna say, oh man, it used to be so much easier. It's always going to get harder, but it's not so much that Amazon's not worth doing anymore. It's just the game has changed. Like I said, it used to be just so ridiculously easy that everybody could do it like, like that. Now, I think it takes a little bit more intelligence. It takes a little bit more hard work. And my honest piece of advice for anyone out there that's not willing to put a little bit of hard work into a business, Amazon's not for you. Honestly, there's no business model that if you're not willing to put some hard work into, that is worth it. Like all good business models, if you're gonna make money online, you need to put some work into it. Now I do again think that Amazon FBA is the best way to start a legitimate business, but I wanna make it clear, you do need to put in some hard work and it can be fun, don't get me wrong, like I've loved every second of working on Amazon. It's, it's hard work, but it's fun hard work. It's almost like playing a video game. Like as long as you know what you're doing on Amazon, it's I think very easy to make money. And I'll give you the secret on how to do this. Like I said, you used to be able to just slap your label on things, put it on Amazon. Now what's happening is you need to create a unique product. You need to create something that is special about your product. Your product better be better than the other products that are being sold on Amazon. What does that mean? That means that if you are gonna sell a product that's similar to something out there, you better have a better brand or some unique features or functions to your product that someone would rather buy your product. Like if all the other products that are being sold on Amazon are four stars, your product better be four and a half stars. There needs to be something really unique about it. And I'm gonna talk more about this later in this video when I talk about why private labeling is dead, but let's talk about how expensive it is to start. Cause this is another misconception a lot of people have. A lot of people say, hey, I've only got $50 in the bank. I wanna do Amazon FBA. And it is possible. I'll tell you how it is possible, but I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. There's a lot of costs associated with selling on Amazon. And obviously, as I'll mention at the end of this, this point, there is a way where you can crowdfund, you can raise money so that you can sell on Amazon, but it's still important to know all the startup costs associated with selling on Amazon. But before I get into that, one of my most important Amazon FBA tips is to smash that like button because every month I give away three free consulting sessions to people that like and comment on my videos. Here's this month's winners. First off, it's $39 a month just to get the pro account. Now, you don't need the pro account to sell on Amazon, but if you wanna be, if you wanna sell on Amazon FBA, if you wanna be Prime eligible, if you want your products so that people can get them in Prime, which you want that, and if you wanna be able to send your products into the Amazon warehouse so that they'll ship it for you, which you also want, then you're gonna pay that $39 a month. So that's the first fee. Then on top of that, there's the fee for purchasing your product. And let's say you got 300 units at $7 a piece, that's gonna be another $2,100. Then there's things like the, the barcodes. Your product needs barcodes, UPC barcodes, which is about $250. You're probably, if you are manufacturing a product, in China or wherever you're doing it, you're probably gonna to wanna to pay for samples. That's gonna be another 50 to $150. You're also gonna to wanna to make sure that your product has some kind of a unique design, some kind of a trademark. That's gonna be another $150. You're also gonna to have to pay to ship your product from China over to the Amazon warehouse. That's probably gonna be at least $300 and a lot of people would recommend doing air shipping for your first time and I agree, the first time you sell on Amazon, you wanna do air shipping. It is more expensive, but it's gonna be a lot quicker. There's a lot less 
issues. If you're gonna be shipping larger volumes, you'll wanna do C shipping, which will be less expensive per unit, but it can get complicated and you'll have to pay for a bond. You're also gonna to need to set up a DBA or an LLC. A DBA is the cheaper option. It's gonna be around $150. And on top of all these, there's probably other fees that I forgot about. If there is anything I forgot about, I'll list right here. But as you can see, it can be very expensive to start. And this is kind of a best case example. When I helped my girlfriend start her Amazon company, we actually spent a lot more money in startup costs. We also had to hire a sommelier because she sells a wine educational product. We had to hire a sommelier to review her cards. We ended up spending $2,000 on the design. And for this product in particular, design is very important because it's basically flashcards. So the, in product, the entire product is just based on the design. We probably could have got that down to $1,000 if we would have shopped around a little bit more. And on top of this, we spent almost $11,000 manufacturing the product, which is a lot more money than you probably need to. We bought 2,000 units of the product, which was a huge mistake. I've talked about that in other videos. We probably should have only purchased like three to 400 units. And if we would have done that, we could have got our, our costs to manufacture the products down to a few thousand dollars. But as you can see, Amazon FBA is not for everyone because it does take money to start. Now there is a trick I wanna share with you, and this is what I did, and this is what I taught my girlfriend to do. You can raise money on Kickstarter or Indiegogo or crowdfunding, any of those different crowdfunding platforms. I raised $15,000, my, my girlfriend raised $5,000, and that helped pay for most of the, the first production run, most of the startup costs. Now, if we would have worked a little bit harder, if we would have marketed our product a little bit harder, we probably could have raised enough money to pay for all our startup costs. Ariana, if she would have ordered, it was my fault, I told her to order 2,000 units, but if she would have only ordered three or 400 units, she could have got all our startup costs paid for with Kickstarter. And this brings me to the third point and the third big con, I think, with Amazon FBA. I firmly believe Typical old school private labeling is dead. It's oversaturated Amazon basics in China. And I've talked about this before, but keep in mind when I say it's oversaturated, there's 5 million sellers on Amazon. There's 4,000 new sellers joining Amazon every day. And I'm gonna be honest with you. Most of the people joining on Amazon trying to sell are doing the same BS old school tactics that just don't work. And you don't want to try to compete with them because a lot of the private label products, there's hundreds, you know, there's dozens and dozens of the same exact product and you don't want to try to sell the same junk that everyone else is selling. So the second reason is China. So a lot of those boring basic private label products, China is going direct to Amazon. It used to be that Americans or Canadians would go through a Chinese manufacturer, make like find a private label product, find a, a boring product, slap their own brand on it, put it onto Amazon. Now China is going direct, which means they can sell for a lot cheaper than you possibly can. And the third reason, I've mentioned this before, but I've seen so many people that find successful private label products and then Amazon finds out about it and they just end up copying it and creating an Amazon basics version. So what is the solution? And let's talk about some of the pros of Amazon as well. Well, here's the truth again about Amazon FBA. Amazon FBA is a business. You need to be doing something that other people can't do. You need to be doing something, creating something unique, selling something interesting, being different. If everybody else is zigging, you need to zag. With Amazon FBA, you're going to have ups and you're going to have downs. I recently had a down and one, I've talked about this in my two year update video, but one of the reasons I had a down was I wasn't treating Amazon like a business. I, for basically two years straight, I, I launched my product and then for two years straight, I barely touched my Amazon FBA business. But here's the really cool thing. It kept making me money. For basically two years straight, every month I was making about $10,000 a month profit. I made over $250,000 with Amazon not barely even touching it. It's one of the only true passive income sources I have found. I've, since I quit my corporate job seven years ago, I've tried nonstop to find the best way to make passive income and Amazon FBA has by far been the way of doing it. Now, as I mentioned, because I left it alone for so long and it is a real legitimate business, other competitors started coming in. I had one competitor who the owner of the company has $100 million, basically undercut me on, on price. He's selling his product for less than I can possibly sell my product for. And because of that, and because December's like the slow season, my sales dropped. But here's the truth again, it's my fault that my sales dropped. I stopped paying attention to it, I neglected it. And of course, eventually the sales are gonna drop. What I should have been doing is launching new products. And that's what I recommend for you. This is one of the biggest mistakes I see new Amazon FBA sellers making, is they wait and they wait and they wait, and then the opportunities pass them by. I'm gonna guarantee you in three, four, five years from now, 
If you do not launch on Amazon FBA, you're gonna kick yourself and you'd be like, man, it used to be so easy. And it's not easy to private label anymore, but what it is, the really big opportunity right now is creating a brand, creating a unique product, create a product that you're passionate about. And I really believe that right now, creating passion products is the biggest opportunity, by far the best way to make money online. And this is gonna be one of those opportunities that I really don't wanna see you pass up. So I did a video breaking down all the costs, step-by-step, step, how to sell on Amazon, right here. You can get it for free just by clicking right here. And I talk in more depth about how you can raise money with Kickstarter everything you need to know to start selling on Amazon today. So click on that video. I'll see you in the next video and remember to enjoy the journey.